Cameron Highlands is famous for cold weather, tea plantation, and gardens. We visited a few worthy places in Cameron last month. Just like me, if you plan to having a relaxing holiday, here are the attractions you should consider including in your itinerary. The first one is a lavender garden in Trinca. But it has also many other flowers and a strawberry farm. The main building is a beautiful man made landscape with white picket fences. There are also a vintage car, colorful statues, and a cartoonish light purple Disney like castle. Some 3D mural arts add fun to your creative photography. And don't forget to taste the lavender flavor ice cream. And pick some strawberry at the strawberry section. This is a very cool place for family activities, especially with kids. This garden is the perfect place to appreciate flowers. Malaysians no longer have to travel to New Zealand to witness the cube sheep, thanks to the opening of the sheep sanctuary in 2019. The sheep sanctuary is in the middle of the busy Kia farm market. You need to pay a small entrance fee to enter, and kids will love the sheep. The owner mentions that the sheep are imported from Australia. He started this place as there's no sheep farms in Malaysia that cater for the tourists. The entrance fees include a small box of pellets for you to feed the sheep. Some of them are already waiting for you once you enter the sanctuary. You can get close, touch, pet, and feed the fluffy and incredibly adorable sheep. Kids will love the fluffy, cute, and cuddly sheep. <laughs> Before leaving, don't forget to stop by the Puku Cafe on the side and try the homemade strawberry ice cream. Sungai Palace Tea Garden is the visitor center of the famous Bo Tea Plantation. High altitude, low temperature, and abundance of rainfall in Cameron Highlands is ideal for growing tea. You leave your car and you can wander around the hilly estate. There's a cafe hanging over the plantation. From the platform, you can enjoy a panoramic view of the tea plantation while sipping tea and enjoying various pastries such as scones, puff, pies, cheesecakes. It's one of the most iconic attractive places in Cameron Highlands which offer a holistic tea experience against a beautiful backdrop of undulating tea fields to feast your eyes. You can walk up to the cafe from the plantation via steps and the steep paths walk into the tea farm and get your best picture of yourself surrounded by fresh green tea leaves. 
However, we took a divert with our guide and enjoyed some scenic backdrop of the tea plantation from different angles away from the main building. The orchid and rose garden has a very wide range of flowers. It's a place you must visit if you appreciate flowers, not only orchids and roses. There's also a myriad of hanging pitcher plants and other carnivorous plants. It's a serene place where fresh, colorful flowers bloom before your eyes. Some of the used items were also painted over and used as decorative, which is not only economical but environmentally friendly. There are such wide varieties that you can touch every flower that catches your eyes, and it comes in various shades from red to yellow. The red hibiscus is the national flowers of Malaysia. And besides that, there's also a short forest walk and a vegetable farm inside the garden. Visitors can take a 500 meters jungle walk around the farm. These gardens are my picks for a day tour at Cameron Highlands. Besides that, you should not miss the experience of staying at night at one of the Tudor style boutique hotel in Cameron Highlands, which will give you an experience you will never forget. In my opinion, Smoke House and Lake House are among the best. Check out our review of both boutique hotels in a separate video on this channel. I'll leave the link in the description section below the video. See you again soon in another video. Peace.